Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Charmander surprise fold. Now to start off with this, we need to take our paper and we want to fold it in half. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it so both the corners line up like this. And then I'm just going to press down. Then I'm going to turn it like this. And I want to take this flap right here. So it's kind of like a birthday card. I want to take this flap and I want to fold it down to here. So I'm just going to take this flap, I'm going to line it up onto the corners, and I'm just going to fold it down just like this. Now, when I open it up, I have a nice little flap for my surprise fold. Now, to start off with this, I want to draw the Pokeball, and I want to use something circular. So I'm going to use this little circle paint tray right here. Now to do this, I'm just going to kind of line this up right in the middle, and I'm gonna hold this down, and I'm gonna start right here at the edge, and I'm just going to draw a little circle that goes all the way around here. I'm gonna draw it back around just so we have a nice dark circle. Just like this. So now when I open it up, I have one half of my Pokeball just like this. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw the center of the Pokeball. So first, in the very center, we want to just draw our little circle in the center. So to start off with this, I'm just going to kind of find the center, and I'm just going to draw a little half circle on top. And then I'm just going to make a little half circle in the middle. Now, starting here, I'm going to turn my paper just so I can get a little bit better of a straight line. I'm going to draw a line that goes right down here. It's going to stop before I get to the circle. So I'm going to start here, and I'm just going to draw a line that goes down to here. I'm going to jump over it, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. Then I'm just going to make a little curved line right around it. And I want to do the same thing over here. So we're just going to draw a line down. We're going to stop right before we get to the circle. Jump over and we'll do the same thing here. And then we're just going to draw a little curved line right around it. So that's a little start of my Pokeball. So when I open it up, I have two little halves of the Pokeball. Now, what I want to do is I want to open this up. And the first thing I want to do is I want to draw these lines up just a little bit. So I'm going to just draw them up just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Then I just want to draw a little line that goes straight across to this end. That way, when I fold it up, it looks like the Pokeball is full, and then when I open it up, I just have a little bit extra here. Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to just kind of draw these lines down just a little bit farther. And same thing on here, just draw these down just a little bit. And then I want to draw a nice little line straight across. And it's better to go a little bit farther down, just that way, in case you accidentally mess up, you won't see these lines. So when I close it up, got my Pokeball, when I open it, it's empty. Now what I want to do is, right inside of here, I want to draw the little Charmander. So I'm going to start by making his head. So I'm going to start right here, and I just want to make a big, round, circular shape with an open bottom like this. So just kind of big and round. Then right here, I'm going to draw a little line that goes out. And then I want to do the same thing on this side. Little line's just going to go out. I want to give him a couple little fingers. So we'll just draw three little bumps over here. And I want to do the exact same thing over here. So I'm just going to go up and down about three times. Now on each side, I want to draw the arms in just to about here. To do this, just draw a little line in on this side, and then a little line in on this side. 
Then right here, I'm just gonna make a little curve line down and a little curve line down like this. Right here on the middle, I'm going to make a big sad face for his stomach. So we're just gonna draw a line that curves up. It's gonna come down just like this. Now let's make his eyes up here. So to do this, I'm gonna start right up here, kind of where this little fold line is. And to start off with this, I'm gonna make two big sad faces. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna make one big sad face like this, and then another really big tall sad face like this. And actually I'm gonna make this one just a little bit taller. Then I'm going to draw a little line across to connect each one. And right here, I wanna make a little curve line that goes down on each side. So we'll draw a little curve line here and then a little curve line right there. Then I wanna make a little sad face on each side and then a little circle shape right up here. And then you can color this part in really quickly. Now, right here, we just wanna make his mouth. So to do this, I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna kinda of draw a line, it's gonna go down, it's gonna come a little bit farther down, then it's gonna go up like this into a smile. So we wanna go down and we're just gonna kinda of curve like this. And then I'm just going to curve back up. Then right here, I'm gonna draw a line, it's just gonna go down, and it's going to curve up like this. I'm gonna add two little lines for his nose. And I wanna add his teeth, so I'm just gonna put two little V's right here. And I'll put two little V's here, or upside down V's. And then a little curved line for the tongue. And then you can color this part in too. Now the last thing I wanna do is I want to make his tail. So to do that, we're gonna just keep it really simple. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw a little line that curves up and then it's going to come down. And then for the flame on his tail, I'm gonna make a little curved line that just kinda of curves out and it's gonna go up. I'm gonna come down and then go back up. And then I'm going to curve it back down like this. And there you go. There is your drawing of your little Charmander. Now there's lots of different things you guys can put in here. You can add, you know, other different Pokemon. You can add those little eyebrows in there. I forgot to put those in, but there's lots of things you can do. So I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy.